Hello guys, today I'll be showing you a transcendent structure analysis using one thing. I just opened it on my desktop. So uh, let's check uh, the version, as always. It's 1.4, it's built in November 24th, 2017. The revision number is 1848, which is a good number for me. Okay. Press the OK button. Let's start create a new project. Bring a geometry. Today we will try this geometry. This is kind of a T shape pop line. Okay, there's three open faces: left, right, and top. So sometimes this this part can be used for paper lines. Okay. Create a new material. This time we use uh, let's say a line. Uh, okay. okay. Double click. And bring in the property, and click the OK, and uh, press the F2 key, let's change the name. Okay. Then we go to the geometry node and change the material property from the structure steel to the alumni. Okay. And mesh. Okay, pretty fast. And now we have uh, 10 to 10 elements generated. It's about uh, 7,000 nodes here. Okay, then, oh, don't forget, since we'll do the transient structure analysis today. So we change the static to the transient in analysis property. When we change the transient, we see another property showing up. It's called the time integration, and default value is implicit. So basically, you can change it to explicit, but uh, for this case, uh, it's not a very high speed simulation, so uh, we use implicit. It's good. Impose a constraint boundary and impose the pressure. Okay. So we add a two boundary condition. We will constrain the left side and the right side. Okay. And for the pressure, we're going to impose on the top side. Then we get a value called 110 to the 7. Okay, it's kind of big. Then let's see what it looks like if you click the, this button, this resume button. You can see how this line goes the from 0 to 10 to 7. Okay, and we change the time. This time we set, okay, let's say 60 seconds. So it's basically one minute simulation. Now we change the time integral to 0.2, 2.2. Okay, and just you can change it to some number as long as it can be converged, so it should be fine. Let's say 3.5, it seems to be okay. Okay, I think uh, all this pre process setting is done. Let's just solve it. If the project not saved yet, so it will be ask you to save some place. Let's see. Let's DB. Okay, once it's saved, well, the solver will start. Okay, then you will see there's a new button just added in the output window. It's called stop the in the process. Sometimes if you trigger a very long time simulation, it won't wait and you want to restart it and change some of its properties and restart again. So you just simply click this button, you can stop the solver. Then you can uh, redo your pre-processing and solve it again. Uh, it's quite a useful button because some product, sometimes if the mesh is very uh, big and then uh, our project very huge, then it takes very long time to solve. So very useful button. Okay, it's done. Now uh, let's add some result pro object to see the result. Okay, let's see, we can see this is a straight curve from zero to. Um, 36 okay then the last send number is 18 let's evaluate the 18 okay. double click you can see the stress distribution okay the red part is maximum stress the blue part is the minimum stress so you can see the constraint area on the left and right area is very high and also the connection area on this edge is kind of high, kind of red color here. And what about deformation? Okay, it makes sense. This is change the same number to 18. Okay, 
okay, yeah, the same color pattern but different values between the step one and step 18. So it's it quite a, uh, reasonable for me. You know, see left and right totally constrained in top side pressed down a bit. Okay, so it's very uh, straightforward and simple analysis. Uh, we can see the way SIM can handle it very well. Give it a try. If you have any comments, uh, concerns, questions, please let us know. Bye.